Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. We've got seven pumpkins on the table right now, all pretty much uh, cut and decorated and ready to go. Imagine 300 of them lined up, lit up uh, for everyone to come, come in and see and tour. And that is exactly what's happening. A great event for the Boys and Girls Club of Ottawa. Joining us is Lee Fury and Stacey Kirkpatrick. Great to have you guys on the show. Thanks for having us. I Thanks. love this concept. How cool is this? So this was something that you had, had started. You tried it in Sarnia and then brought it to Ottawa last year. My sister started it in uh, 2007. And um, it's just been growing since. So last year we couldn't make it up to help her out, so we decided to get a shot here in Ottawa. Got a good response, and this year we've had more time to prepare and getting a great response. So we're very excited. Yeah. It seems like a great event. Can you break it down for us as to what's going to be happening over the course of the next couple of days? Well, the first tonight we're going to start actually gutting and carving all the pumpkins, and tomorrow night six o'clock we're going to do the first lighting, and through the weekend every night six till ten they'll be all lit up with you know the the big night Halloween. Hopefully we'll be up to the full three hundred, and on Family Day, which is Saturday, from twelve till five we're going to have face painting and kids activities and cupcake decorating and little raised reptiles is going to come out and do a show for us and so it's going to be a lot of fun. A big, big event on first Saturday as we Saturday, head yeah. into yes. the whole lighting ceremony that will really come together on, 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 Halloween, on night. Halloween night. So yeah. this is happening at the Boys and Girls Club? It is. 2825 Des Moines Avenue. Uh, this one in the, it's in the uh, West End right West off Pinecrest. Right? Exactly. 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 And we have the new uh, Duncan Gunk this year. One of the uh, volunteers has said for a small fee you can bowl a pumpkin at some uh, some pins and if you get a strike he'll fall back into a pool full of pumpkin guts and oh. everything else. So yeah, it should be. Yeah, a, I can imagine with almost 300 pumpkins just how much of the uh, the leftovers there's, there's there going to be tons. one yeah, of our sponsors so. who uh instructor labonte is actually got all his clientele who he's been working hard doing boot camp he's going to be there at the duncan gunk so they're looking forward <laughs> to doing they it. need some payback there absolutely. You go. can so. can anyone take part of this i mean are, are the kids able to uh, to get the pumpkin from the club and, and uh, have fun with their families anybody is allowed to come out at family day or in even in the evenings if they want to come out and give it a shot if you want to just bring a pumpkin all we ask is you carve the bottom out because we use christmas lights to light them up mm -hmm. um and then yeah, that's how you figured out how to do that. Well, it's uh, in bar or, uh safety for no fire and it's uh, in a weatherproof there's no wind that's going to put them out right so uh, that's true yeah, especially so 300 you, you, you have figured light. you have figured this out what does it look like to see that many different sizes and shapes and you know cutouts when you first tell people about what you're doing they kind of go uh, okay <laughs> and then they come out and see it and it's like wow because it's all in a big circle we've got it set up there's you know hay bales we're trying to give it that fall feel and, and there's just your eyes just can't stop scanning everywhere there's things to look at you have some that are more intricate that you know some real artists come out and do and others that are you know four-year-olds come out and just carve yeah. and, and have fun so it's all about bringing up the creativity of people and, and having as much fun as you can so let's be honest how sore are the hands going to be from all the carving by, the, by yeah, Monday night if you're, if you're gutting <laughs> use, use the tools um, yeah, look at these these are great if not uh, yeah wear some latex gloves or something because mm -hmm. uh, you know it's uh, your hands get very very dry and it's pretty cold out there so yeah, yeah I can imagine well it looks One fantastic or two is not so bad, yeah. uh, hopefully people will be able to get on board and of course you're you know in terms of the donations and the help, this is also a fundraiser for the for the Boys and Girls Club. It is, right? and we'll yeah. uh, mention that real quick. For for basically a minimum donation of twenty five dollars, uh, you can get your company name or logo carved onto a pumpkin, as you've seen in a couple of our examples here. Um, We're also we doing text messages, so right. if you want to kind of do a text message, and we'll photograph the pumpkin, send it by email, what have you, or maybe a marriage proposal. Who knows? Who knows? Right? <laughs> Marry so, me. There you go. So. How long does it take to write yes? <laughs> to send out the yes. We'll do that for free. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Uh, a wonderful idea. Uh, best of luck with the event. And keep in mind the fun day uh, for, for everyone to get involved in the families is going to be on Saturday. Saturday. And then keep in mind as more and more pumpkins are, are being dropped off and then to be able to uh, hand them off, you'll start to do the lighting Saturday night right through till Monday night. Right. Uh, Friday night right through. Friday, Friday, Friday night, night right yeah, through Monday right through night. Right through until yeah. Monday night. Great. Good luck with everything. Thank okay. you very much. Oh, it's getting spooky in here. I <laughs> love that. All right. We're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be back to wrap up this edition of CTV Morning Live right after this.